What's up YouTube? This is an update of the 30 gallon saltwater tank. It is now day 79 of the tank. And I'm making this update to show y'all my new protein skimmer. I've got a Coral Live uh, 65 gallon an hour uh, hang on the back protein skimmer. This this kind of this type of skimmer can go uh, on the back like I got it, or it can go in the sump. Um, but since I didn't have a sump, of course I got to install it on the back of the tank. Uh, I don't really have any complaints about it so far. I've had it for um, about a week, I guess, and I got it off eBay for sixty-seven dollars, which is outstanding price because these skimmers normally run about a hundred and twenty, hundred thirty, somewhere around that in that ballpark, depending on what store or website you go look at, whatever. Um, so $67 free shipping off eBay. The guy said it was only used for about three weeks um, before he decided that he needed a bigger one. Um, so got a great great deal on it. Um, and you can see the top of the collection cup here is black. <laughs> it's black gunk and nasty crap that came out of the tank just within a week. Um, they started skimming right away, right after I put it on the tank, within just a, a matter of minutes. Uh, my cup and stuff was already filling up. Um, so, and then I've got a I've got a straw right here. I've I've got to get some air tubing uh, and go over this. I went to the local fish store and tried to get some big enough to fit it, but they didn't have any the size that I needed, and uh, they'll probably get some in a couple of days. But I also went to Walmart, our local Walmart here, and they didn't have any either. They had, I have some airline tube, but it's not big enough to go over this valve right here. So what I've done is I just um, rigged up a straw, slid it over. It works perfect right now. And I've got it draining down into a one uh, a cup measuring cup. And you can see down in the bottom of it how nasty it is. It's filled up about halfway, maybe once, I mean maybe twice or so. And I've emptied it out, but um, very nasty looking crap that comes out of there when using one of these uh, protein skimmers. Um, but overall, I'm happy with it. Um, like I said, got a great deal on it. Uh, can't beat the price. And you know, from from what it's already collected and, and what it's doing right now, um, it looks like it's doing its job. So the only complaint I I have, like I said, is the um, would be the size of the bubble box and and the motor inside your tank it takes up a lot of room i would definitely recommend you going and putting it in a sump if you've got one um and then you see on the back of my tank there behind the pump in the bubble box uh the dark blue spot it's water spot uh, when i installed this on the tank i kind of splashed some water um or uh, not splashed some water but i didn't get this collection cup this little uh, tightener right here all the way tight and water started leaking out when I turned it on from under here it kind of dripped down and got in between my, my background and my glass so when I do another cleaning or another water change I'm going to have to take it out and dry that up but um, so far so happy or so far so good I'm, I'm happy with it um, you know it's like I said it's doing its job so We'll, we'll keep it on there, see how it goes. Can't beat the price that I got it for. I'm super stoked about that. Didn't have to go out and spend a hundred, two hundred dollars on a skimmer. Um, and I didn't, I didn't really need a big one since this being a 30 gallon system, I didn't need, you know, a protein skimmer rated for 200 gallons or something like that. So this one's, this one's for 65 gallons, but, um, but it's doing its job. Um, everything's working. Uh, Things that other things that are going on in the tank, you see down here in the corner on the sand sand bed, my red slime algae is growing. I've got to get um, some snails that'll eat this crap. Uh, I had high nitrates. Um, I think I mentioned it in some past videos. I finally got them in check a little bit better. They're running about 10 to 20 right now, which is still high, but I've I've seen and. I don't want to go by this because I want my nitrates and, and everything down um, to close to zero as I can get it. But I've heard that you can run a fish only uh, saltwater tank 
with as high as 40 ppms of nitrate. I don't want that high. I think whoever said that is just retarded. <laughs> I, I think the better you, or the closer you get it to zero, the better. So, I mean, my fish, you know, my clownfish, there's, there they are down there. They're not really, um, you know, they don't seem to mind it. They, they seem to be in good health and everything, but, you know, before I add anything else in here, especially, you know, if I go and get a 30, 40, 50, $60 fish, whatever, um, you know, I don't want to, I want to introduce it into the best environment possible. And with high nitrates, I don't think that's the best environment possible. So I'm going to do one more water change, get it knocked out completely. Now that I've got the protein skimmer on there, it should stay in check. I shouldn't be having any uh, uh, spikes of nitrate like I've been having. You know, I do a water change. I get them down um, lower than what they would originally be. And then I come back and do another water change the, uh, the very next week, and they'd be right back up to where they were before. So with the addition of the protein skimmer, that should help everything uh, stay in check and, and stay uh, leveled off. Shouldn't let you know the nitrates build up. The nitrite and the ammonia is still at zero. I'm still doing uh, perfect on that. I'm not having any problems with that. So uh, other than other than the nitrates that I believe I've I've gotten a kind of a handle on now, and um, and my uh, rest lime and green hair algae. I'm also getting a lot of green hair algae that I gotta get a control on. That's the only really. Um, I guess problems that I'm having with the tank. So, like I say, get a get a new, get some more cleanup crew members in there. Get some crabs, get some snails, get some things that'll go through my sand, shift through my sand, um, and I should be good. I should be I should be all right uh, to add another fish. Um, you know, there's the there's the clownfish, bright orange, beautiful, love them. Still my favorite fish, <laughs> even if after I get some other fish. I'm looking into getting a, maybe a mandarin. I've been getting um, a lot of cocoa pods and stuff that show up on the gla uh, glass and stuff. Uh, so that's that's a good sign and, and, and I'm happy to see that so I can get maybe a, a mandarin in here, a green spotted mandarin. Um, maybe a flame angel I'm looking into. Uh, just some other, just some different types of fish that I'm really looking into getting. Um, but Got to get this this crap cleaned up first before I introduce anything else. Um, so that's gonna be about it. Uh, stay tuned. I'm gonna make another update in about a week or so. I'll let y'all know how the protein skimmer is working out. Uh, if I have any more problems with it or anything, I don't think I will. I mean, it's a pretty good protein skimmer. I read really good reviews on it. So um, so I right off the bat, you know, week of it. Uh, or a week after having it running, I have no complaints with it so far, other than just the size of the the stuff inside the tank. So I might look to replace the bubble box or something with a with a uh, some tube and a filter at the bottom of it to for bubbles. Um, maybe that'll take some bulkiness away from it. But other than that, I'm happy with it. Stay tuned for another update and. Uh, have a good weekend, guys. Appreciate y'all viewing. See y'all later.